I think of blues when I think of winter. I also think of other colors, but today it's all about the blue bags. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new. <laughs> and thanks for joining me in the babe cave today. And yes, I want to talk about blue bags today because when I think of winter, I gravitate towards darker or blue or black. You know, those are my typical bags I choose for this season or mostly I think that I have a lot of blue bags and I didn't realize I had so many of them. So I wanted to share all my blue bags that I have minus the denim bags because I don't feel like those are necessarily winter blue. So let's start this off right with my first one from my daughter. <laughs> Of course this is not a bag but it's cute and she gave it to me I probably gave it to her <laughs> and it has some a note with a little stone in it or a rock that she got me this is of course a joke but it's a tiny bag and it's so cute you would rock it right so this is my first blue bag <laughs> my Next blue bag would be this lovely Bitsy bag from Dooney and Burke in the color French blue. Isn't this gorgeous? It's so vibrant of a blue and I love the, I believe this is called Sierra trim. I'm not sure. Says probably will correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it has feet on the bottom. Top handle is how I like to carry it. It does have a small thin crossbody it's not the best but you know I don't like putting straps on opposite sides that bugs me anyway so it is very cute as a top handle Dooney and Burke Bitsy bag next up is my mama got paid from YouTube <laughs> which is my navy baguette from Dooney and Burke in the Florentine leather this is still my next fashion chain charm and it looks really good on here a little extra this is a awesome shoulder bag and lately i've been into shoulder bags a lot uh, more than crossbody bags uh, but yeah it's just uh doesn't have the back pocket does have feet on the bottom beautiful red fabric by the zipper really enjoying the navy baguette in Florentine leather. Next up is my, this is mostly blue, so I'm including it in the blue because it's dark navy with the maroon and the brown and the taupe. <clears throat> this is called the Dooney and Burke Teton bag. I've shown this many a times. It has a back pocket to it. It's a very comfortable crossbody and has no feet on the bottom because it is a crossbody. Typically crossbody bags don't have feet on the bottom. So, <clears throat> and that works out just fine for me. But yeah, this one is a great blue mixed color block bag that I'm including in this blue bag count. <laughs> Next is Glacier Blue. I mean, how much winter could that be? The name's Glacier Blue. <laughs> And it has a darker brown. I love the contrast of a light and dark. I, I just, that's my jam. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is the crossbody pouch. It comes with a thin, thinner strap. So I usually interchange straps on this one because it just, it so many straps can go with this bag. It's unbelievable. No back pocket. No feet on the bottom because it's a crossbody bag. <clears throat> Has a slight little curve here with the gold hardware, normal. I'm not going to go through the inside really, but yeah, this is my next one the Glacier Blue crossbody pouch. 
Next is also a regular on my channel. <laughs> I did a, a car vlog with uh, what I had inside the other week or two ago. But this is the Coach Soft Tabby with the suede, the smooth leather, again color block. I don't normally get color block bags but I noticed that sometimes if they're similar colors I tend to grab the color blocks even though that Teton bag is has all kinds of colors. This one has the navy blue hang tag, the navy blue trim, and then the C. This, and it has the back pocket. This is a great coach bag. I can't say enough about the coach soft tabbies because they fit quite a bit of things in it. You can wear it shoulder, you can wear it crossbody. It's just a great bag, so yeah. And yes, it's teal and then like a navy blue. So this is uh, going in this blue bag collection here. Next up is the backwards. This is the Go Forth Goods Mini Avery in cobalt blue. Even though it looks teal, it has bison leather which is really neat because um, it has all these pull-ups and these marks on the leather which I really like. It smells good. I mean it doesn't smell any different than leather bags to me. It has this dark you know handles and it has a really nice crossbody strap with the extra little cushion strap on it. And no feet on the bottom, but these Go Forth Goods bags are really nice quality. They give you a card with who put your bag together. Mine was Donna. <laughs> and I feel like they really appreciate good craftsmanship. I feel like you get more of a personalized bag because you can customize these bags um, with, you know, a snap and different color of the trim. I mean, I just went with the, you know, original kind because I wanted to see what their bags are like. I really think this is a nice thick leather. Again, it's cobalt blue, go forth goods, mini Avery. Love it. The color is gorgeous. Let me give you a close up. So if you're ever on Go Forth Goods. They they have coupons. They have sales, just like other websites. Get you this cobalt blue. It's beautiful. So that's the next one. Next one you're probably sick of seeing, <laughs> but it's mostly blue. Like if you look at it, it has light blue, dark blue, black, of course, all over it. And this is a great. The this is the Coach crossbody or shoulder bag Morgan <laughs> it's the Morgan bag and they make different styles of the Morgan bag but this is the east west version and it's a nice everyday size I have my chain on it from Amazon that looks so good with it but it has a shoulder and a crossbody strap included love the silver hardware I really think more companies should uh, do more silver hardware and I think I need more in my collection. <laughs> a lot of mine are gold so this is a mostly blue bag. My final blue that is from Dooney and Burke and it's the regular sized satchel formerly known as the small now it's just the satchel. <laughs> now they have so many other sizes this one's kind of kind of big, kind of heavy, but beautiful craftsmanship. I mean, it's the pebbled leather and the color pale blue. It looks good for winter, definitely. I've doubled up the strap to make it shoulder drop. Here's the the whip stitching. Here's the bottom with the feet. Eventually, I think I want to get the smaller size satchels. Um, I just think that for my lifestyle now versus when I got these, I just don't, I don't use that many things in my bag anymore. 
so I don't really need this big size, <laughs> but yet I have three. I have four of these, <laughs> or three, four, I don't know. But anyway, I have too many of this size, so I may consider selling not this one, this one's special to me, and I bought it in 2019. I can I know exactly when I bought it because my daughter was in the hospital at the time and so this one just takes me back to that time I was gonna cancel the order I didn't realize how sick she was but she got better she's fine she's 10 and happy um, but I won't sell this one because it it just it's sentimental now so it's mine forever in the pale blue sorry I went off on a tangent uh, Dooney and Burke satchel in the pebble leather. They of course have the Florentine which I have also those are amazing quality if you're looking for a quality bag you look into the satchels maybe if you don't want something this big they have all the sizes for you to look at <laughs> but that is my final blue bag I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment down below what you think of my blue bags. And do you think of blue for winter? I don't, I just do. I like light blues. I like dark blues. It just, I seem to grab them. I, I didn't realize I had so many blues, blue bags, but they're, they go with jeans. They go with everything. For me, blue is a versatile color with a lot of options for your clothes to match. <laughs> so anyway, this uh, little cutie right here is still for sale. It's the Patricia Nash Spring Boucle Bucket. I don't know. It's kind of a long name, but this is Tweed. So if you're interested, it's still listed on my Mercari and Poshmark cute bucket bag with with a zipper and it's a crossbody strap so that's still for sale and I have another one for sale if you're interested I've decided to let go of my coach Harley bag it's the East West Hobo it's also listed on my Mercari or Poshmark you can buy from either platform so if you're interested in any bags right now, <laughs> I have a few for you to look at, a few uh, items on my Mercari and Poshmark. The links are down below if you're interested. No pressure, I just want you all to have first dibs if you wanted it. But anyway, I shall get off of here and uh, don't forget to hit the bell because I think some people miss my videos because they don't hit the bell. So it's very important <laughs> and it's free as well as the subscribe. So thank you again and until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.